Hey everyone, there are a couple good things to come out of the COVID pandemic. There's no pressure to go to the gym. We know that China can manufacture things that last longer than six months. And most importantly, Greta Thunberg hasn't been getting any media attention. Although I guess when airplanes are grounded, it's quite hard to fly around the world spreading your hypocrisy. But the environment is still very much out there. At least that's what I hear. I've not personally left a house in weeks. This week though, I thought we'd look at two examples in the news of where the green agenda has left us. And they're both pretty scary. It's a bit like when you ask where the George Orwell Memorial is and Google tells you that you're living in it. That kind of scary. First of all to the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. It's a fairly quirky place with crazy mega projects. And I always thought if I was designing something there, I'd make sure that I had a small child on the design team to make sure that it was eccentric looking enough and needlessly tall to the point of absurdity. But they can do that because they're a country where a passport and an American Express platinum card are synonymous. It's quite easy to spend that kind of money when you're sitting on top of that much oil and gas. However, Mae West once said, too much of a good thing is wonderful. And the UAE really wants more and more energy, but most notably carbon friendly energy. And so therefore this week saw the country start up the Arab world's first nuclear power plant at Barakah, just next to the border with Saudi Arabia, a country already embroiled in conflicts with Yemen and Iran. It's probably worth noting that if you look up the UAE in an illustrated book of countries, the one right next to it is Ukraine, alongside the iconic black and white photographs of Chernobyl. This is the sort of management decision akin to when the BBC put Jimmy Savile in charge of a kids TV show with the thinking of what could possibly go wrong. The next power station that doesn't burn oil or gas is in China. It's the Three Gorges Dam that is one of the world's largest things ever constructed, if you don't include the EU constitution or the US national debt. It's the world's largest power station and as a point of comparison, take that 16 billion pound size well sea reactor that they're talking about. The Three Gorges Dam is six or seven times that in terms of output. Dam indeed. Nonetheless, there's a lot of talk online including photographs and leaked information from defectors to the west suggesting that shoddy construction and an especially bad flood season this year make it quite possible that it's imminently going to collapse, killing millions in the process and causing the sort of economic damage that would make President Trump's proposed COVID sanctions look like a tap in the wrist. On the other hand, the death of millions and the final destruction of the economy is hardly out of the ordinary for a country that's communist. And I have to sympathise with the engineers who had to interpret the blueprint diagrams which were all probably written in Chinese. We've all been there, I guess, buying on eBay. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.